Hey, welcome back. This is Satria, C-E-T-R-I-Y-A. And today I'm going to be talking about comic artist struggles, what I have to deal with, what you guys may be dealing with. And of course, my webcomic Crossstar just updated yesterday of the time of this video. So go ahead, take a read part one of chapter two. Go, go read it, but read it after this video. So today is day 75 to 77 of 100 days of making comics. I'm going to go ahead and chat about today's topic and decided to do a speed video instead of a live stream because off and on I think my internet has been kind of bogged down. I don't know if it's because of the holidays and people are just streaming a whole lot but it has been kind of slow. So decided to just put these together plus I've been kind of distracted in the last few pages getting up to do things here and there but that's where we're gonna go straight into the main topic. I know there's been kind of like a little chat about artist struggles throughout uh, blogs and social media so I thought I'd just add that share it with you guys. Um, my goals for Crossstar was to at least try to get myself to do 16 pages a month or work up to that and that's still my goal it's just no longer my immediate goal. Um, also I'd like to do it for monthly and I think I end up skipping uh, the month of November or whatnot for the Inktober challenge. Anyhow, I do hope that the second half, the finishing half of chapter 2 will be updated by the end of December and from then on I think I will press for 10 pages a month instead. A little more hopefully once I get into the groove of doing things. I do notice that I was a little faster in a few pages but I'm always kind of skeptical about my skill. So one of the things, or number one, well there's several kind of art struggles, but let's say the first one is being unsure of my skills. Don't get me wrong, I'm very proud of my work, but I also know that I have a lot of room for improvement. So to kind of compensate, I tend to take my time kind of feeling things through. Um, if you've seen some of my live streams, if you ever drop in or saw the replay, you'll see me making a stroke and then erasing it and making a stroke and then erasing it and going back. And before you guys get into the whole digital versus traditional I do the exact same thing with traditional I just may quit earlier but pretty much I would just do more of the work on the pencil stage and then use a light box or a light tracer on top in order to kind of deal with um, having to go back and make changes and fixing things and whatnot and honestly there's always white out and again I could always retrace over and I have done that uh, sections of a page and then just cut and paste it onto a board so that way I could get these things done. So I do feel a bit unsure of my art skill and plus I did start this webcomic in order for me to really challenge my capabilities of drawing. So I'm not scared for improving my artwork and I'm really am pushing the envelope. Um, if I was not pushing the envelope, all you'd have is characters looking straight at you and just kind of like a bunch of talking heads and almost zero backgrounds. So two, having to do things that you don't like to do but you know you have to do it because it's the good thing to do. I for certainly do not like drawing backgrounds but I like how backgrounds look like in a comic and in movies and in paintings and in stories. So it's I have a choice either to draw backgrounds or not backgrounds and really it's not a choice because in order for you guys to get immersed into the story and for me to be proud of what I've drawn and share with you all, I need to have backgrounds. So that's just one of many things that I don't like doing. Another thing I don't particularly like doing or even reading all that much is colored comics. I know more and more people like reading their comics in color and I know that there's a number of um, of my readers, of my followers of my illustration who really want my artwork in color. It will not happen for this comic, but I hope that it comes up again in um, other short comics that I'm thinking of doing from now on. So most of my short comics will be in color. Number three, having way too many ideas or the reverse, having art block. For some reason it's always one of two extremes. You have so many ideas that you cannot get it done in one lifetime or you're the opposite 
where you're completely at an art block, you're dried up, you don't know what to do, you kind of feel like doing something but you don't know what, or you don't feel like doing something, you just feel like you should be doing something to be productive. Um, There was a time that I had that issue where I had to really dig deep or walk around and all these things in order to deal with art block. I have not had an art block in probably a couple of years now. Um, I've had instances where I just didn't feel like working on art, but I have a very large to do backlist. Um, I have a well of ideas and information to, to go to. And there have been times where I didn't feel like coming up with something new and I would just go back into the archive and redo something or complete something. Because oftentimes I'll create sketches and I rarely do just sit there and sketch. Um, but times when I really have like the ideas flowing, I'll just sit there and sketch, 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 and then write notes on the side because I could write faster than I could make the artwork. And then once I have that out of my system I'll just leave the sketchbook there and then on days where I kind of feel like making some art but I don't have an idea I'll just go back read my uh, sketches and the notes to them and it would be like working on a commission like someone gave me an assignment so at that time I'm no longer using my brain per se I'm just completing an assignment that I gave from my past self to my current or future self And then I would say the next struggle that I had was a mix between discipline, time management, and genuinely being tired or having very little time. Now lately, I've actually had quite a bit of time. I've had several um, long weekends undisturbed. I've also had the holiday weekends that, you know, we all get. Um, I've requested a few days off also, and I will be having some more days off, but lately, I pretty much been a couch potato and just watching um, anime TV shows on Crunchyroll or uh, reading manga or just chilling and enjoying the very lovely weather we're having in Florida and just not doing my work. Um, At the same time though, I do feel a little guilty because am I honestly tired? Really, when you consider what the human body is capable of doing, I don't really, I don't have any medical issues. So what could be my problem? I know I have not been eating all that well, but I'm trying to really push myself out of my comfort zone and accepting that I have to um, have the discipline to do hard work. Um, And really sitting down and drawing comics is not necessarily hard. It is just a bit restless. And sometimes there are parts of the artwork I'm doing that I don't want to do, but I still have to do it. So I've definitely try to get myself into a routine into a discipline that's part of the reason why I'm trying to get myself to do a live stream schedule because then I'll have a reason actually do these things on time so that was that definitely have been a struggle for me and I would say the last struggle that I've had as a comic artist is not something that I have control over and that is trying to get my work out there For many of you, it may not be a a part that you have considered yet, but if you've started to make some things and you try to share it, you might be wondering why more people aren't, you know, giving you back feedback or uh, reading it or anything. I am very appreciative for you guys who have watched my videos, who have commented in the videos, commented in live stream, who follow my work or add them to favorites on the, um, Tapastic or Tapas website or the Line Webtoon website. I truly appreciate it. But this goes back to my first struggle, and that is not really having confidence of my work um, because without feedback, and that's something that you get even in art school, it's really hard for you to improve without more feedback. I also would like it if more people would read or share my work, and I kind of see it as a reflection of my work in general um it may not be enticing enough for them and it's not to say my quality is bad because i do know that realistically it could just be a topic that may not be of interest to them in the same way where a lot of tv shows and comics and games and stuff are not interesting to me and i realize that i'm part of a small group so again it goes back to trying to get my work out there and reach those people who are like me, who are like you, who want to read 
a comic that strikes the right of balance between drama and fun and not trying to how should I say put way too much um, current drama into the work but still keep the work human and not really follow all the tropes that's coming up um, currently not to say that tropes are bad just that a lot of tropes I personally don't find entertaining so I'm hoping to get my comic out there and really reach those uh, kindred hearts so I would say those are my current um, comic art struggles. Let me know what you're struggling with. Maybe it might be something that I could possibly create a video about and share it with you guys and hopefully that helps you. But yeah, let me know what comic art struggles or artist struggles in general that you're going through. Uh, please take a look at the webcomic, the update. The links are posted in the description and please give me some feedback. So I'll see you guys in the next video.